Good morning, you guys. Me and my ancestral guys have been trying to figure out who is the best baby daddy for my mom. And once they start parasite cleansing, whether it would be my downstairs neighbor, whether it would be who was the other one? Um, Elena Warris' dad, or Raw Vegan Risings, because I think that they okay. I, everyone has something that's very beneficial elena words is that like because my dad was spanish and my mom was pregnant with me but he was a mexican but elena words is that is mexican and y'all know how the spanish people all kill the mexicans i don't know i'm trying to because i want her baby daddy to be in agreement with islam then the other way is like okay with shane sterling he's really healthy the other thing i was thinking about was oh if he's my mom's soulmate because i don't know if my mom has a soulmate because i don't know if it would be shane sterling or elena warriors is that because i would my, when my mom is being normal at first, I thought it would be Elena Warriors' is dad, but then I realized like my mom do be on some whack shit. Like, like I tried to see if my Tito would be a good soulmate with her, and my mom is just rude and doesn't give a fuck. Like, my mom's not into having like a husband. My mom is not like my mom is not a girl, and she don't give a fuck. And she's independent as fuck. She just. Okay, we have to account for the baby mama situation, right? Because whoever has the kid has to have, I don't know, they need to know where they stand with the baby mama situation. I don't think Shane Sterling has any kids. That and Okay, my mom is like, she, she has to pull concepts out of her. She doesn't just, some, I don't know, she's different people, she's different ways. Some people, she just clicks and she's very good with them. Like, people from different countries, my mom just gets along with. If you don't know English, my mom just gets along with you really well. And she's not fake. <laughs> she gets hysteric. She has so much anxiety. She needs a parasite. She's parasite cleansing too, though. So I don't know which one of those three it should be. The two that don't have relationships would be if we think, do we think that she should get married again? Do we think that she should just have a best friend? What do we even think? Because my mom's been married once. She hasn't been married twice. But then there's the extra bodies. There is... Oh. And honestly... Okay, I don't know. Like my mom was with Watermelon and Drea. My mom was, was with somebody was with somebody from Argentina. So I don't know if like God put her here to cleanse the Hispanic. I don't know if he put her here her here to cause then I was thinking about what about the Asians? Because the other thing is what if my Tito is her soulmate? Cause he thought I don't know. It sounded like he thought that they're soulmate. He can't have a kid because he has cancer. Okay, he has a nip a nephew she could have his kid if or she could have any of those three people's kids and be so mixed with my tito but i don't even i don't know i don't he's too selfish so I, that's why i don't think that but that's a, a weird theme that's there yeah and i was like i don't want my mom to go to hell so then okay so i'm gonna if she has two baby daddies do i need two baby daddies i'm scared to have two baby daddies and i have a been outside as much as a lot of people i was like who could we need it i was so mad yesterday I was like, who is, we need like a little italian girl that can that can go with her with having two baby daddies because if she could just have her husband and my cousins um if my well my cousins have covid vaccines i don't know i don't like that um and then i was on instagram and i seen bad baby mind blown mind blown mind blown and then if god gives my mom a girl it's gonna be one whole instead of following circumstances oh my god i need to use my stomach okay oh wait and if it's a boy it's gonna be a whole nother set of very 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 interesting circumstances i got a weird on a weird pattern with my life safety oh i could just roll it up i don't know what i can't see i can't see and it's very hard to do things you can't see whatever i forgot what i was just saying i've been taking this cascara sagrada and it's been cleansing me and before i was taking wa black walnut hulls is it black walnut hulls kills parasites but it also does have a laxative effect cascara sagrada it cleanses your blood but it also has a laxative effect which is really good actually if you think you don't need a laxative you're wrong because when you're taking a dump you're not getting the side you're not going in with a wet wipe into your intestines and wiping it there's still leftover poop from the days before who knows how long and i was taking it because it was me it's been making my poop smell so crazy bad but i was like that's the toxicity i'm pretty sure because when it comes back to regular i think it's gonna be a lot different that's the type of how bad it is but i kept i got like confused getting the getting played and playing games and eating cereal i don't know and 
now i've been taking laxative tea for i think it's been over 14 days the total because i've been taking both of them and they're both serve as laxative teas i did i had to take in um and the reason why you don't want to do that is that your it says that your stomach will dystrophy and you won't be able to push your shit out and this morning i couldn't get my shit out i can't feel my stomach like the so I'm gonna stop saying like. Oh, good job me for noticing that before I'm editing. Um, like this underneath my belly button. I don't know. The whole sudden of my stomach, I can't feel it. And I was trying to take a dump, and I can't feel it. I have to just push myself all up, and I had to lift it up because it's falling. It's I think that I dystrophied it. I think I'm telling you guys this because I'm asking you guys. Do you think that I dystrophied it? And what should I do now? Continue taking the tea because now the shit I just took this morning. I've been taking the cascara cigarette a day and night. It did not smell toxic at all. I'm like, what the hell? Because what I was just pushing all the other days the last week i, I don't expect really it to be so putrid i've been in so much pain yesterday so i was expecting a bomb i had to go so bad it hurt so bad so i was expecting something crazy and it came out was so clean and then i i'm thinking like how i thought when i'm perceiving stuff as clearly as when i was like like 18 i did for a second and i was going to work and all of that but i still had parasites and everything so i don't know what it was this new clear i'm getting my the whole Precision, like the whole glasses, receiving glasses that I did not just have. I don't know, I think I was just really upset. I think I was just very uptight. Wanda, no. Wanda, stop it. Wanda, stop it. I don't think this one is as big of a deal. I don't think it's as. I, I, oh, oh, my, my ancestral guy said pertinent. I don't think it's as pertinent as the other cases. I think the other ones are really pertinent and a lot more later. But she could also have, if we're going for trying to not have like extra bodies, because like, I mean, I don't need to be, I don't need to bring hella attention to myself when I go to heaven. I'm just trying to walk in like a regular family. Uh, if she needs to cleanse with her eastern people, I don't know, because we're Palestinian. But she's Sicilian, which is mixed with the Moors and all of those things. But not enough on my DNA test to show it. So what if, because the other thing is that I think that a lot of, I think, okay, I don't know. She wants to save the Arab people. But I feel like Arab people, why would they not be Palestinian? But then again, like, why would a Palestinian be Israeli? We were always I when my dad found out that my mom was pregnant with me or something. The tweet my mom so ran up two hundred thousand dollars a day. Ooh, I could fuck with you guys and talk about this shit. Ooh. I didn't know this. I didn't know this until I had to go move to Fresno and I was staying with my grandma and grandpa. Me and my grandpa, we talk shit on everybody. Bad. Everything. Everything and everybody. Nobody is safe. So they was busting my mama out on her shit. And so apparently she ran up two hundred thousand dollars of debt with my grandma. She then she got she went off of she ran off of birth control, ran up the day, got pregnant with me, waited till she was pregnant, hella pregnant with me, waited till I was there and told him that, or I don't know which order, and told him that, um, yeah, I don't know about that. And she said that he, she was telling him, when she was telling him the Twin Towers were getting, were on the news from, nine. it was nine, like 9-11? But I was born in January. My mama said he's lying that she didn't tell him on 9-11. I feel like my mama definitely would have waited. I don't know. I don't know. Um, that they were giving crash in the background as she was, he was, as she was telling him about my expected arrival. That he was very, very mad. Very, very, very mad. And my grandma was referring to me as the kid. And that's like when you don't really like someone. She wasn't connected to me because she knew I was his. She didn't get along with him. Nobody likes my dad. Nobody likes me because I'm just like my dad. And nobody likes us because we're dicks. <laughs> but okay. Uh, yeah, that's what happened. Oh, so I always thought... So since it, my mom has told me that she's open, that hell yeah, she'll have another kid. I didn't know if she would do that. That's been a big thing is what if it should be who did the 9-11? And then when I was in Fresno, they killed, I was really scared. Uh, they killed Kestin Soleimani. You need the dap No. On some shit. Crazy shit. So, and they killed Osama bin Laden's son and or nephew. It seems Soleimani has blue eyes, so I was like, that's really weird. That you're a real Arab and you have blue eyes. 
I didn't know I didn't know about the Middle East. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I only thought there was Mexico and California. I didn't know about oh and Africa and like Japan, like China, that stuff. Um I didn't know about Latin America and I didn't know about the Middle East at all. And life was really fucking good. I don't think this one is as big as a deal. I, I th oh, oh my my ancestral guy said pertinent. I don't think that's pertinent. What's going on here and it's true, like our we, we don't know how to digest raw food because we're so used to eating cooked food all the time. So that was a bit of a journey, but I got through that. And then after a week, I just felt really refreshed. I felt energized. I wasn't even hungry. And that was wow. the best thing for me because I literally, I'm in Mexico traveling, partying. I was in Cabo right before I started this. So like drinking every day, eating whatever you want. Like I did try to watch my diet, but of course it was all cooked. And you know, to go from like eating nonstop to not even feeling hungry, you just realize, wow, we have so many addictions. Like, so much stuff that we eat, like subconsciously without even thinking about it, just cause we're bored or maybe because we don't have enough nutrients from the back. It, it started growing. It wasn't itchy or anything, but it was just kind of annoying in a weird spot. And I just, I tried everything for it. So when I started the juice fast within uh, the first two weeks, after the first two weeks on the cleanse, it completely went away. So I was like, okay, I know this is definitely cleaning my body. And I already knew that if it's fungal on the outside, it's something from the inside. Yeah. That literally went away. And then I had developed this sciatica pain from lifting heavy weights. And I think it's also the acids, eating so much meat. I was eating meat three times a day. Like a lot of people. Wow. Yeah. On the workout program that I was put on, and I developed this lower back pain. It was just like tightness. I couldn't bend my back um, backwards. And I tried everything. And this has been going on for over a year. I mean, I went to physio, chiropractors. Like, I've done everything. Yoga. And literally, my back pain is completely gone. Like, I'm doing yoga. I'm holding backwards. I'm just like, I don't even know what's going on. That happened. So those were the two major things. And I just feel great. Like, the first week was so... It was challenging for me because my my body was just like it was like a revolution in my stomach all these gases and just <laughs> like oh my god what's going on here and it's true like our we we don't know how to digest raw food we we don't know how to digest raw food because we're so used to eating cooked food all the time i don't know why i'm randomly oil cleansing my face but here i'm getting some coconut oil some eucalyptus essential oil then i rubbed it on my face into a cream and then I wiped it off with this wet paper towel. You guys have to go follow the Real Rich Smoothies on Instagram. They gave away this recipe. It's so good. He described it as like a thick, creamy smoothie. And I was like, I can't with a straw. Because y'all know how my teeth are set up. Not very much set up anymore. So I didn't know how this would work for me. But it sounded so dense in what I needed. Y'all look at it. Look at it! Look at it! So make sure to go get the recipe off their Instagram page. I'm clearly feeling so healthy, but yes, water. You're a plant. Hold on, it looks like I'm coming through with multiple beverages. This is probably Wormwood, my AM dose. I just wanted more calories and wasn't feeling like making soup. So now we're making beet juice. So this is the beets, organic beets. I'm blending with water, then straining to make beet juice. Now look at the technical malfunction. The lid fell off. Beet juice everywhere. At this point, my whole thing is hydration, so more water. Another set of three cups. All right, then our wormwood. Then we have some lemon juice. And then we have our beet juice. You have it, folks. You can... I'm trying to show you here. That's... When I get to that point, I'm going to fill the water with that lemon juice. And then I'll drink the beet juice. With my girl, that's beauty and the beast, though. Bitch, bitch, I fight these niggas sleep, though. Here we have today's goals for May 8th, 2023. So we have Duolingo, Course Era, Meditate, uh, Go to the Gym Workout, or Walk My Animals, Edit, Phone Videos, That's Pre-Filmed, uh, Continue Working on Series, Edit, Recent Vlogs, Clean My Room, The Bathroom, The Kitchen, Laundry, Edit, Write Music, Record Music, Water My Plans, Work on My YouTube Projects, which I don't want to work on without my husband, Make my mama smoothie and tea research, do spot treatments, and film videos. Now look at my basil mint and lime water.
I began organizing my office. First, it's my desk. Uh, there's gonna be my binders. I have so many piles of stuff going on right. I like. I have this whole process of scheduling and planning process. So these are my plans of every day because I use them as reference when planning future ones. That's a whole entire chunk right there. I had to make a wish list, and I I noted. I realized I learned very big skill. I learned this very big skill during this process is to use post-it notes because look in here. On my wish list, I need teas. So I put a star. Then I'm gonna put the teas, the specific ones right here to save space. The other thing that I just found out to do, I have my goals over here. This is, I need a folder for just for my father and for my mom because I want to really be planned when talking to them. I like to research the stuff that we talk about that we're interested in. I want to have all of our interests there so I can go gathering a lot because I really like to talk to them a lot. But they're very selective. They're very special. But then the other thing I'm finding out how to do is, oh, I just found how to do is, okay, these are my YouTube, so I need to start working on my YouTube projects. Those are so cool. I have them all on an Instagram, Australia Essentials. For example, I'll show you this one, Monsters Public Health. I figured, the whole thing is I can't figure out how to organize because there's so much stuff I have to think about at one time and I can't remember all of it at the same time. And if I could, that would just produce mediocre work. If I could remember all of it, if I could have it spelled out in front of me with the answers in my face, um. It's gonna be really, really, really nice. So, I was going through those papers and I found these really thick papers. I'm like, I think what if I could use this? And then I was like, it is sketching paper. So, I got sketching paper. So, now, this is the project title, okay? And then now I can add, because the whole thing is, is that I have to, it's thinking. So, I have to switch out with a post it note. Okay, maybe I'm gonna add acidity. Maybe I'm going to. Do I wanna add business? Heck no. Business doesn't go in public health. I need to be able to take that back and write it down and then be able to evaluate. But I need to be able to evaluate. Then you write it down to hold a spot because I have to think about a new rabbit hole. So I don't know. This is taking me. Uh, if I, it, I know I was gonna be able to come up with this smart of stuff. The second I sit down, but dang, that's really cool. Really, really cool. And yeah, so so here's gonna be like four sections: acidity, inflammation, parasite, sanitization. And this is the. This is some topics. I could write that title. Some topics. Because there's the other stuff if I want to. Oh, Instagram. The Instagram branch. We have to have logo. We have to have colors. All the different information. And then I can hang it up. Some of the recipes that she uses a lot. Oh, the food freedom course. To this course can change your life. Miriam is next level with the food freedom stuff. If you want to build a healthy relationship. Step by step, easy stuff that you can do to boost your energy. Really great course that she has here. Look at that, one hundred seventy-five dollars. If you were to buy, like just these two alone, look at how much. And you're getting everything for fifty bucks. That's it. Money. It's about attracting the life that you want. How to manifest the life that you want. So very, very mindset focused. This ebook, again, another one that's worth the whole bundle in itself. Raw Nation by Daniel McKinnon. So if you want to make the bread, the buns, the Burberry burger, the chicken sandwich burger, the instant coconut noodles, this is where it's at. Raw Nation by Daniel McKinnon. It's yours when you buy the bundle. How I cleared cystic acne. 25 years of cystic acne. Like we, because really, it's just like, oh, you know. Like I made smoothies today, I put a little bit of this microgreen powder in each smoothie. You didn't even shoot all of our energy towards the, the cotyledon and the leaves. And very, very possibly, it would make only it would make sense that that certain things are changing in there. But that's a great that's that's the world of how to you know deliver messages on microgreens. Microgreens only because I'm into a lot of things in my life, and it's interesting though from the research that I've done because I'm like. Um, cabbage, I already said that, maybe the uh, beets or the, the chard, um, those ones are a little trickier, the chives, the garlic chives, um, and then another one would be that bottom tray that you just set your top trays in that big flood drain tray, and it would flood it.
That is hella irritating. I've wrapped. I've wrapped this. 9.48. I finished my song finally. It's so good. It's called a 9. Like with a number 1. And a number 3. Because you guys know where I put those. Which later is out of place with those. Sometimes. Um, we went. So Planet Fitness. I had it. I was paying for it. With a gift card I got for Christmas. But I had to put my bank on it. For, so they just they made me for the routing number. They made me put a route because they require a routing number. And then they and and then we're like, no, take mine's off and give put my mom's on because we don't have want to risk mine's at all because I have no in income and and we don't want to risk overdraft fees. Well, they still charged me. Had to go into there. This is at probably five, and we went. We were like, what the heck. I was, and when I was there, well, I didn't do it because I don't care about money. If my mom wants me to have money, she can deal with it. Um, I was there to be at the bank. And because cash attracts more cash, if you know, you know. I found a bunch of pins, like so much banking accessories. So I was like, why not do a banking skit? I am a Jew. Duh. So I got those materials. Now I'm going to make a cover and upload this. May I cover upload the song and this. I don't know. I'm hungry. I'm all salted pizza, but I ate two soups already. So mm. this is the wormwood tea that I'm having AM and PM, one cup each time, total of two cups a day. It's been working so well. I didn't realize how raw and terrible my down there B word is doing. And when I drink this, it feels like euphoria. Here I'm blending it into powder to strain. Here's a package if you're a packaging junkie like me. I got done with mushroom broth. It's been saving my Whoa. life. You guys, this is how I have my mushroom broth. I just add a little bit of salt to smish. Look. The least amount as possible. This is fixing my salty, savory tooth. Satisfying it during this uh, juicing cleanse. My wormwood powder is now ready to be added to a cup of water per tablespoon. Teaspoon. With these... I low-key look weird with these eyelashes. They look weird, huh? I'm not used to that. I'm You guys know today is Monday, and it actually had Monday vibes for once. It's lit. I'm on day three of my 40 day juice cleanse, and I look so Asian now. My eyes, they used to look like this, and I and I was tripping when I stopped looking Asian. I'm not even that Asian. I'm Sicilian, which is on the Euro Asian continent, but I don't know why we look like this. My nini looks, uh, my nani look very asian um and so i stopped looking like it and when i when i moved with my dad and i assumed it was because i stopped smoking woods because i used to stay so high that i really looked asian um and i was sad when i went away and now it is back and i wasn't expecting it it was the last thing that i expected i wasn't expecting to see results until at least a week i don't know why because i know after three days the most craziest shit starts happening and pretty medium to big stuff starts happening before the first three days too